And you have rappers saying like, oh, you wearing a nightgown. <laughs> you dig deep, deep enough into your history, you be looking right at yourself. Mm. Yeah. Economics. Um, I love this piece right here. This is very important. Uh, because we're coming up on Christmas right now. Everybody's going to be running, trying to get loans. Uh, Dr. Amos Wilson, he actually explains, uh, and just for the camera's sake, on uh, page 339, he actually goes through and talks about how Africans come here and are able to stay afloat. They're actually able to uh, manage themselves. Actually, excuse me, it's on 340. Uh, they're actually able to start up businesses and be affluent. We see this in our community, right? They, they, they just came here and they got a business on the block, on the corner. Okay? Now, how are they doing this? Now, obviously, they're having government assistance, yes, but they have a whole other system that is that they actually operate their home that they bring here. We're actually consciously engaged in the same thing, but when we do it, it's not benefiting us. Uh, and so I want to read this quote from the uh, Blueprint for Black Power, Amos Wilson. This is a must be. Everybody should have this in their home. And to me, it's a black man's Bible, personally. Uh, but it talks about community saving groups called ASUSUs, or as you see here, SUSU. In Nigeria and Ghana, or the Totin, among Senegalese and Ghanaians, uh, are chief source of credit for African entrepreneurs. Five or ten members of the Totin Circle agree to contribute $100 each okay, for five or ten weeks, each member taking home the pot until everybody has received a share. I know this to be uh, true even in the Malians. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, like, and see, that's powerful because everybody don't get paid. Right. Ten people, look, ten people, everybody dropping $100, Everybody's going to get $1,000. Now, again, like we talked about, poor personality is what causes distrust amongst us. They do it every day there. And they actually, this SUSU is not only just that system, but it also deals with lines of credit. You have funerals, you have weddings, you have birthdays, you have many different celebrations where people need that startup money to actually get something done. So they, where they are not able to have a bank account, they are able to go to the SUSU like his brother right here, where he's actually able to get that money for you. Um, and what's crazy is, is that Europeans actually go to Africa all through the year. They'll be there for years and never come back. And you won't even know. You think that they done went to Florida, Cancun, Europe, Paris, or something like that. They over in Africa living it up. And they go there, and they see how we're actually able to live. We're actually able to keep our head above the water, and, and carry out business and be effective. Okay, people get loans like for a day. They get a loan for a day, make the money, go back, get the guy. They're seeing how this is working. Now it's interesting how like they drop all of these in our community. Checking that cash, hey, uh, you know, check a smart, check, uh, you know, all of these, check that, all these different business entities that are geared toward giving you that credit for a day. Now the difference is, is that these people do not mean well for our community. That community, that, the, every, all that dollar, that stuff is not circulated in our community. Now if we had institutions like this that were set up for the benefit of the community that circulated within the community, when they made that money, they go get the, mo get the money here in the community. So black people, they can be very effective. And so this is something that we can learn, that way we kind of look at these things as negative, but if we had this system set up for ourselves, it would be very positive. We'll touch back on this a little bit later. But again, consignment, this is something that black people love to do. You know, and we see it over there. Brothers do it here too. Uh, but you buy stuff in bulk, but you don't buy it in bulk, but you get it from the people in bulk. You make your money, you pay them back, and whatever you make over that, you keep. And you do it again, you do it again. Instead of buying the stuff outright and then selling it, because you don't have it. This comes with levels of trust, but they're able to accomplish these things in the, in the society and system that they have. Um, and so you can see, it ain't nothing new for us. We probably done fell out of line thinking that the only thing that you can sell on the corner is dope or, or women. That they're actually, now the Mexicans, they, you know, they kind of got their thing going on now. And I mean, right now, today, you can go down there to the docks. It's called Freeze. You can buy big bushels, big box and crates of fruit. Now, you ain't going to be able to get it on consignment. But again, you can start a susu and make that happen. Everybody like to hook up, and when we talk about economics, 
every businessman knows all in who you know. And so when you know somebody, you know that you could probably get uh, an advantage in sales more so than somebody else. Whereas if you don't know them, like a lot of people complain when they go to Ghana, they're called Obruni, they're giving them Obruni price. Obruni means white. And they'll say that, that that means foreigner, but it really means white. But you, this is no different than like, if I don't know you, I can't guarantee that you are giving me the most effect, you know, price, the best price. And so you also have price bargaining. And they do it to each other. If you ain't, if, if you and I cry and you from Takaradi or Tama or Tamale or whatever, it's like, I don't know you. And they got to sit there like, them, them nonverbal expressions. <laughs> they giving them all that, you know, trying to get the price down. So it's nothing new. This is stuff that we do, okay? You're going to love this. Communal aspects of eating. Now, you can see the negative. You can see the positive. But the point is, is that this is reality. Good or bad. There are things that, before we moved up to the north, when we became our bougie, when we drank our drinks with our pinky hanging out, uh, that we were actually able to sit together. You had things like community cup, right? But I had, like, when I was a kid, all the little kids had a shared drink. Now you got it. Oh, that's yeah, now y'all got all these little wild viruses. Now, we didn't care about none of that stuff during that time. You had to sit there. Man, you know what I mean? There's all kinds of things you had to be forced to do with each other. <laughs> that was communalism. Okay? And we're being kind of broken away from that, domesticated away from that. And these are things sitting at the table together. How often do we do that now? You know, and these are things that brought us together as a family that, again, that are, are breaking us away from who we are. Uh, and so you see, this is based on land. So the green basically means like the land, but it also means, you know, you can have little cheese, you know, little money. Uh, uh, CDs. Yeah, you know, it's about business. Marcus Garvey was about business. You know, us having business, whatever. Back home, I sell shea butter, black soap. You know, I sell some uh, essential oils, and I want to sell many other things. I got many friends. That, that sell different products. I'll show you. 